Hi Scorpio, I hope you're okay. I'm Clarissa. Thank you so much for being here. Scorpio, I'm here for your October 2022 tarot reading. So let's get into it. And Scorpio, if you like the messages, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much. Alright, Scorpio, the images do we have for you? Oh, the Emperor. This came out in Libra's reading. Major Conifer for Aries. Oh, King of Cups, your energy. So we've got Emperor here. And we have the King of Cups. Cancer Scorpio, Pisces energy. We also have Judgment. Oof, all right. It's Major Conifer for Libra. So let's see. Okay, we've got the Knight of Pentacles here. We've got a lot of people around you, Scorpio. So we've got uh, Earth energy here. So we've got Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo energy. And what else do we have here? The Lovers, Major Conifer for Gemini. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a lot going on Scorpio you've got a mix of energies here definitely there is some reflective energies here so what what's coming through is here there is you know a need for you to stand your ground about something or you know like right now you are just um it's almost like you're reigning supreme what's coming what's coming through you're doing really well right now. You're like, you're standing in your authority. You're standing in, you know, your, your truth. I feel like you, you're just being true to yourself. Um, you know, and that's being seen. I see that there's people that are around you that are seeing the way you're doing things, the way you're interacting. And there could be like a, um, you know, a love offer here that's taking its time because you right now is strong. You know, right now is your presence, your whole energy is like super, super definitive. You stand in really strong in, in yourself. You're using your intuition highly. You know, you're able to navigate situations super clearly. I feel like it's almost like no one can mess with you right now. Right now you're in like your school for your energy. You will tell anybody that needs to hear the truth exactly what they need to hear. It's almost like right now you're the mirror for people. So I feel like at the moment you might be coming across a bit intimidating in, in your essence. Because right now it's like you're really reflective of how people feel in the moment. You're able to just say decisively what people are feeling. But for some there is, you know, this, um, yeah, it's like somebody's had to be humble in a situation here. Um, you know, they feel like you, they feel like you're on a, a, a level, you're on a level Scorpio. They want to, to mirror, they want to, it's almost like they want to reflect some of these things, but they, they do it differently because your, your domain is like the emotion. Your domain is like this kind of like charged watery element where it's, you could, you're able to kind of like manipulate the waters and you're able to get them to do what you want, like the emotion on an emotional level. This person does some things differently. They do it in a way that's like grounded. They, you know, they want to build on something. They want to, you know, almost like move slowly so they can learn from you. They want to be able to, you know, respond in kind to the way that you do things. They want to be complementary to the way you do things. So I feel like someone's learning how to be with your energy because it's so profound. All right, so let's get some more cards for you, Scorpio. More cards, more people cards, Knight of Wands. Wow. Your heart, Scorpio, just hat. <laughs> so Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, beginning again with security. Two of Wands, absolutely somebody wants to go on a road, a journey with you. Oh gosh. The hermit. The cards are kind of speaking. Again, they're very similar in terms of how they're coming out. So we've got the Hermit Major Conor for Virgo. Um, we've got the King of Pentacles here. So someone's going to level up. King of Pentacles, Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy. Someone is trying to level up. Somebody is trying to get to another level so they can mirror you. At the moment, they're almost like they're in the night energy. Uh, they're in this, you know, uh, building on something. They're learning about something. They've got the passion for it, so they can move forward in terms of the way they want to, 
you know, it's, it's like it takes action. They've got to <laughs> put action into things. So the Knight of Wands, you know, on top of the Emperor, you know, speaks of there is definite desire. Like you've got control over your desire at the moment and you're placing it where it needs to be. There's certain things that you want to, uh, you, where you want to place your passion. And it's definitely being seen. And there's, with the Ace of Pentacles, there's something that, you again, you want to place some security in. You want to use your decisiveness, your, your intuitive knowing about how things work, how people feel. You want to place it into something that's secure. Again, this is, could be an offer of, of love here, an offer of secure love. Somebody wants to offer you certain security. Again, it could be offered in terms of, you know, business or, a, you know, a new contract, a new idea, something where you're, you're bringing something together. People see that you have an authority over, I feel like it's over desire. Like, it's you, like you, you get what people want and you're able to show them what it would look like, what their feelings will look like in reality. Yeah, it's a weird reading. Weird reading, Scorpio. Love it. Always love Scorpio energy. So two of ones over the judgment card. I feel like, yeah, definitely still are there. there's this indicative of somebody some somebody or somebody's, because there's so many people here, wants to go on a journey with you. They know that you have this resilience. You know, with the two two of ones and the judgment card. You're not afraid to see and face the truth because it just means that it's another doorway or it's another hump that you just go over, it's another dip, but you're able to always, always, you know, you just find your way out. The Hermit card here, you know, on top of the Knight of Pentacles, so you could be, again, dealing with Virgo, but this person that wants to connect, and wants to grow, wants to level up, because we've got the, Knight, the King of Pentacles here, their, their uh, way of doing it is by following this pattern, you know, there's just got to be this consistency, this thing that, you know, uh, that you can constantly do a cycle that you belong to that involves security involves building on something you know it's like you tap into it every day and that is another step that is another step and there's a learning process here you know as a, this person they may be feeling like a little bit vulnerable right now because you know they, they want to be or they can be for you um, but you know, at the moment it's like, there's something, you know, it could be, I, I feel like it could be something within their body, you know, like the physical with the, um, the Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit, they can be feeling about, a little bit reserved about their body. Like maybe the, their body or the physical being has come into some changes. Um, but they want what you want and they will, they will level up. Uh, the gem, uh, the lover is made of kind of a Gemini. So there's reflective energy, soulmate energy here. With the knight, with the king of pentacles, so you know they change from a knight to to a king. You know, obviously this is doesn't matter if male, female doesn't matter energetically, but it, their presence becomes reflective of yours, which is the the point. Your king, king of cups energy, it would be completely complemented by the king of pentacles energy. You know, because it's, it's, it's water and earth, and you know those things, they build security together. Essentially, they build on build. So uh, yes, Scorpio, I feel like this is a really, really good reading for you. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is move it over to YouTube, and we're gonna clarify the cards. So I'll see you soon. All right, Scorpio. So wow, look how much people we've got here. You're just hot right now, no? <laughs> All right, Scorpio, we're going to clarify the cards. So let's clarify the Emperor. Let's clarify the Emperor. Clarify the Emperor. What do we have for the Emperor? We have more people. Yeah. King of Cups. We've already got King of Cups here. I just feel like it's just going to reiterate what, what, what's already been said. But the King of Cups, Emperor, this is definitely you. The, the uh, Scorpio. Cancer Pisces energy, you could, you know, like have uh, multiple placements in water science. You know, you could be really a, like a water based person in your astrology chart where, you know, where your emotions are, it just reigns supreme. It just does. Like you have it so un under control. It's, it's really good. You're able to manifest. You know, we, we could be dealing with gifts here at this point. Let's clarify the original King of Cups. Clarify the original King of Cups. The 
three of wands yeah you're trying to take it somewhere but you're thinking about the next step you think about the journey you think about what out what else is out there it's like you don't want to be contained because you just feel yourself right now right now it's like boundless you know if something's happening for you right now where your energy is just like boundless like i feel like you've been through the rough and it's like now nothing really can test you because you've just done it all energetically you just you felt it all all right so let's get uh, a clarify the judgment cards clarify the judgment cards that one's sticking out three of pentacles yeah absolutely yeah you're definitely wanting to grow on something build on something making sure that you've got the right people around you again i feel like it does come back to business or you know um your career here a little bit where you're wanting to ensure that you've got you know, the right position you know you maybe you maybe um it could be promotion like you're going into some kind of a leadership role um where you know you're, you're gaining more responsibility because you know again you you just seem really really good with people that you just seem really good with knowing what people want and that you command you've got like a commanding energy that helps helps things get done okay so let's clarify this knight of pentacles knight of pentacles two of pentacles here yep so again you know they may be feeling like this person or people <laughs> that's around you um they can feel like you know again they feel like maybe you, you've got more you know than they have in, in terms of security or in terms of the way you feel in your emotions you know somebody could be feeling like they need something from you financially um vice versa however you want it to resonate you could feel like you know some somebody is trying to balance their emotions balance their finances rather um and you know really thinking about some finances maybe they've there could have been some overspending here some willful 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 spending where it's just like uh you know money was maybe drained and um it's kind of almost like a yeah there's going to be some challenge here where you've tried to you it's almost like you're trying to um maneuver money differently you know, you're trying to make it mean more because it's you've had a loss here in terms of you know it's been about people around you and now you want to build on something you've got you've got really far based on your personality you know you've got really really where you want to be just by uh you know the your will your your desire your will your passion your drive let's clarify the lovers major fun for gemini let's clarify the lovers page of wands in reverse yeah i think you're, you're shifting energy here because it's like you're coming out of uh you know some of the immature energies that were there so so energies that you know um you know were holding you in a certain way it was like really based on desire it was based on you know um again it was based on oh this person as well has learned knowing that they've got to be more mature yeah because you're growing quite quickly here it seems like you're growing you're emotionally growing your emotional intelligence has just grown it's almost like it changed overnight it was like that's how it feels to some people but for you you you, you understand it's been a journey like it is it's literally been a journey for you to get to this point you know an unspoken journey just felt so the, the other the person could be feeling like they need to grow as well so they need to put down or you need to reconsider how they express their desires in a way that complements the situation let's clarify the knight of wands clarify the knight of wands wow somebody wants to get married the hierophant on top of the knight of wands they love the way you do it for them you know the, the way you make them feel you know there is a commitment here there is a, a knowing that you know it's almost like a belonging together so again we could be in terms of career we could be thinking we could think, be thinking about the um the steps to build towards exactly what you want your ideal position you could be on your way there but the hierophant really speaks of marriage it speaks of a long-term commitment something that you know is within your belief something that you feel so comfortable with it is knight of wands energy that it comes with you know it really speaks of your ability to attract like you know you can attract you know that you can bring things in you know because you understand 
you know innately people's desire then drive so you know i feel like you're using this knight of wands energy to be able to uh you know understand what's next but there is it's attracting people you know and that whether you want that or not <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking it could be but your your um navigation of emotions and the way you're putting things out at the moment scorpio is attracting people they they want some of what you have oops wrong way let's not do that this way they want what you have let's clarify the ace of pentacles the ten of wands yeah you uh you know you, you're not really trying to stay in one place scorpio for you the, you're doing what you need to do to keep going you're doing what you need to do it's almost like your emotion um that you're this power that you're exuding at the moment you're doing it because you have to like but there's something about this where it's like you're not really you're not going to stay in the situation uh you know for a long time you're committed to the way it drives you so yeah you're committed to the drive rather than the situation <laughs> The situation brings about a level of secu security, potentially, but it's, it's the beginning of something else, the beginning of where, you, where else you want to go. Because you've done the journey, the journey, ugh, yeah, the journey that you want to go on, you've already felt it emotionally. So now you want to do the journey physically. So now you have to, you know, put the action into it manifesting all right let's clarify the two of wands okay yeah eight of pentacles you are definitely as, as i just said it as i just said manifesting as i just said manifesting with the two of wands so you're continuing this journey you're trying to gain gains you know you're trying to create you know like a, some kind of legacy you're trying to think you're thinking about the future and you know you're, you're using you, you kind of get it like you've become a lot more powerful in yourself because you just understand your emotions in their entirety you just you just get it so now you're you're powering it into something you're manifesting the journey's here with you it like it belongs to you let's clarify the hermit scorpio it's always deep with your readings <laughs> yeah six of cups yeah someone's not you know, someone's not letting you go. Somebody really wants, they feel like they belong to you. They feel like they belong to your energy so well. You know, it's like on top of the hermit, they're willing to wait. You know, they're willing to let their, their energy be quieter. So, you know, you will be there, that you know, or they'll be there for you. They're willing to just give. You know, there is a soulmate connection here. It's come out twice with the, the lovers. The lovers and the six of cups. So there is somebody here that wants to, you know, just go on the journey with you. Go through the ups and downs with you. Go through, you know, the, what it takes to balance finances. Everything, you know, see your, your ability to lead. Seeing your ability to manifest. They want a commitment with you. Let's clarify the king of pentacles whoa <laughs> we've got the lovers again we've got the lovers again wow scorpio yeah this person really loves you it's like a forever relationship um they just don't even mind you know when i say they don't mind they don't mind that you're they don't mind that you're driven by desire there is an unspoken uh commitment here with somebody lifelong because King of Pentacles is, you know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, do things just, you know, willy nilly. You just they, they're there forever. They're very grounded, strong energies. They, they do things because they, it's going to last. With the lovers here as well, so it's a, you know, it's like a commitment. We've got the Hierophant here as well. So, yeah, some and the Six of Cups. I mean, this is this, this is this is a connection that was there before it was even there. <laughs> before, you know, it was just a knowing that you both have had. All right, so let's get some love oracle cards for you, Scorpio. Love oracle cards for Scorpio. 
Okay, go with snake. Empath, narcissist, uh, being charmed or use enable and boundaries. Mm. So, you know, for those who know, for those Scorpios who know about their energy, know the things that they're doing, you know, and, you know, they know some of the, the passionate situation or the desire situations that they're in. And again, Scorpio is that sign that knows how to get into people's emotions. So how you choose to use that, you know, gift, that's down to you, Scorpio. <laughs> date, meeting someone new, getting back out there, plan and set a date. Yeah, yeah, again, you're attracting many people. So I feel like there is definitely those around you that want to be part of your desire. There is one main person that wants to be, it's like regardless of what happens. They don't mind, you know, the, it was almost like, I was going to say exploration, but they don't mind that your, your energy shifts and you, you need to interact emotionally with things. So yeah, there are people coming towards you. Maybe you, you are going on dates as well. So let's see what else we have here. Boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on and closure. Yeah, definitely. You went for the dark night of the soul. Yeah. And, you know, and from that, you just gained so much power. You just became so much stronger within yourself, within your own knowing. A, a bit more calm. But, again, it's, it's uh, you know, it's also made you more knowing in your desire. Knowing in what you want and how to get it. Yes, Scorpio. So, thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.